Work done by the runner. Work done by the runner can be written as W work equal to rho GQ Euler head. It also can be written as rho Q U1 V world 1 minus U2 V world 2. In general, we could take wall velocity at outlet V world 2 is equal to 0. Hydraulic head. The hydraulic head is a value that measures the amount of mechanical energy available in water in a river, stream, or even lake. The, hydroded, the hydraulic head is equivalent to the water level in a static water body. In its simplest form, hydraulic head is a measurement of the head of a static water column above an arbitrary point usually expressed in meters. The higher the water level or hydraulic head, the more energy that the water at a specific location has. If we see this diagram, we have a dam here and this is the water level. And this water will flow to the Francis turbine here with a pipe system here. The hydraulic head is the distance from the level of water here to the central point of the Francis turbine. Effective head. There are a variety of losses known as head losses. These head losses occur as a result of friction in pipes. When head losses are accounted for, the actual amount of energy that can be harnessed is reduced. This reduced value for hydraulic head with the losses accounted for is known as the effective head. Again, from this diagram, we could understand that water from this dam here will have potential energy by this height. And then this water will flow to the Francis turbine here in a pipe system like this. As we learned previously, in pipe system like this, there are losses due to friction. Then, we need to deduct the hydraulic head here with the energy losses along the pipe. And the net head that occur in front of the Francis turbine inlet here is called effective head means that a, an effective head that become an in, input for the Francis turbine. Power input of turbine. Power input of turbine can be written as P input equal rho G Q H effective. If head losses are not accounted, Hydraulic head can be used to calculate the power input for a turbine. However, the input power is depend on the definition of the efficiency. Normally, engineers will design Francis turbine near to the dam. It is because to neglect the energy losses occur inside the pipe system. If energy losses from the pipe system can be neglect, we could take hydraulic head here as the input power of the turbine. Hydraulic efficiency. Hydraulic efficiency can be defined as power out divided by power in. According to this diagram, we could see that Power inlet for this Francis turbine is H effective and the power outlet output for this Francis turbine is Euler head. So we could write hydraulic efficiency as rho GQ H E over rho GQ H effective because Euler head here will become the output of the Francis turbine. And Effective head here will become 
the input of the front seat turbine. If the energy losses can be neglected, we could take hydraulic head here as the power input of the turbine. Hydraulic efficiency also can be written as U1 V V1 minus U2 V2 over G H effective. Mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency can be defined as power out divided by rho G Q H E Euler head. From this diagram, mechanical efficiency is the efficiency of power go through from the Euler head here, the output of the front seat turbine, to the transformer here. So in this case, the input power is what we have in Euler head here. And the output power is the output that comes to transformer here. So mechanical efficiency can be written as power out over rho GQ Euler head. In this case, Euler head will become the input for this condition and the power output here is the power that we could get in the transformer here. Overall efficiency. Overall efficiency can be defined as power out divided by rho g q h effective. Overall efficiency is the efficiency of the overall system of the front seat turbine here. The power out here is the power that we could get in transformer here. And the input power is the input power from h effective here. 